Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at some more model editing techniques because every little bit helps and there's a lot of them. Blender is really powerful. So a couple of things before we start. I have a basic cylinder in the scene like this here. So I'm going to bring up the properties window with N and let's just go take a look at it and see we're just going to see where the rotation is here. So it's set at zero like that. Well, here's my X axis and let's say I want to rotate it on X. So I'm just going to RX and then I'm rotating it on X and you can see the rotation is set on X like that here. Maybe I'll type in 90 before I left click. And then I left click. So it's set there and it's set like that. Okay. Well, if I didn't like what I did, I can always press Alt R. The Alt key with R clears any rotation. So I do that and it just sets it back to the beginning. All right. Now let's try something else with the same model. Let's go into edit mode. And everything is selected. If it's not, just press A once. A once turns it all off. A turns it on again. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to rotate it within here. I'm going to do R, X, and I'm going to directly type 90. And then I'm going to left click like that. All right. And then I'm going to leave edit mode. Okay. And now take a look at my rotation. There's no rotation on X now. So basically, I've reoriented my model the way I want it in this case without any rotations if that's what you want alright so that's just a really useful trick believe me that will come into play somewhere down the road when you're modeling alright I'm going to set it back to there okay so let's go into our first modeling normally I press the little dot on the numeric keypad the DEL key when I have an object selected and if I do that it centers that object into my view like this alright so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, you know one of the loop cut and slides they're just it's really powerful so I'll go into edit mode and then I'll bring up the toolbar with T and then notice over here where's my loop cut loop cut and slide how cool is this and notice the shortcut is control R which I use all the time but I'll just press loop cut and slide and then when I move my mouse over here I'm not clicking anything it comes up with that circle around there it's going to come up with different places but basically see there that's coming up between that one was between how I see it. I'll get it again. Sometimes you've got to move it around to get it just right. There it is. That's coming in between those sets of vertices. But I'll use this one here. And then I'm going to, as before I even left click, I'm just going to roll my wheel mouse. And I'm setting all these different loops. And then I left click. And I have access to all these new faces that I've just added to the scene. Okay, so I'm going to. I'm going to press A to deselect everything, hold down the Alt key, whoops, I'm going to go into edge select mode first, hold down the Alt key, and then right click this, and now I've clicked, selected that loop like that. Now with that selected, I'll just grab the Z axis here, and then I can just slide it up and down like this, you can see, I'm moving it like this. Well, that's the same as this thing over here, edge slide. You can just left click edge slide, and then suddenly I don't have to do anything, suddenly I'm just sliding it up and down like that. So it's an alternative uh, way of doing it. Just like Control R is the alternative for doing your loop cut and slide. Alright, so that's it for that particular one. Alright, let's go take another look at this one. I'm just going to right click it, press the DEL key. And that's centered into view like this. And this is uh, something every once in a while you'll run into trouble with this. Like for instance, I'll go into edit mode, I'll right click, right, I mean I'll hold down the Alt key and I'll right select this loop here. Now you have to be careful because sometimes if you have proportional editing enabled things won't work as you want so that can sometimes throw you. I have it enabled here if I move it see I'm kind of warping the whole thing because of the proportional editing turned on. If you haven't seen that like that otherwise if I have it turned off disabled when I move it it just moves that edge right there and if, just in case you haven't seen the proportional editing video I'll just press G followed by Z and I'll move it no hang on I'll escape that make sure it's turned on I'll press G Z I'll move it up and down and then my wheel mouse controls the influence notice it's surrounded all the vertices so it's moving them all but if I rate drop it down to there then it's going to act just like a regular sliding tool like that all right, I'm going to move that loop tool now it's controlling all of them like that I've shown that in numerous videos but Maybe you haven't seen one of them because I have a lot of videos posted. Okay, so all right, let's go to the next one. I right click, hit the DEL key. I'll zoom that a little bit. And on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to take this 
edit mode and we're going to use the knife tool and the knife tool just K on the keyboard alright so I press K and this little green dot appears when I just move it I'm not clicking anything I set it there you see it jumps to that edge like that so I left click maybe I want to put it right over here jumps to that edge I left click and then I hit the return key and then I've just or the enter key I should say and then I've created a new face like this and so if I come down here to face select then I can right select that face press X and maybe delete only the face and suddenly I've made a hole into the box like that or in the same vein if I want to make a face I can press B grab those vertices whoops that's not gonna work because I was in face select so I'm gonna press A get rid of them all get vertex select press B get those there and I accidentally got that back corner so that's not gonna work so I could actually just hold down the shift key and right select that back corner now I only have those four vertices there and with those four vertices selected I can press F and I make a face alright so that's really useful as well All right, so I'm gonna leave edit mode on that and the last thing is well I was gonna use this but we'll go back and use the uh, cylinder again so sometimes I want to create something on this top edge here so here I'm going to deselect this button here now it creates a see-through view I'll press A to deselect everything B to box select this edge and because I can see through I've selected all the vertices around the edge and so what I want to do is I want to create I want to bring this to a point here without messing up the rest of the mesh so if I was to well you could, there's a couple ways to do it actually I could actually uh, we'll just do it the normal way that I usually do it you can do it with the shrink and fatten button right here if I click that you notice it shrinks and fattens it like this but there's some issues and the issue is that proportional editing and there's another issue let's do it again so that that does it only on its according well it doesn't do it on the axis that I want so that's why I don't typically use it but let's say I want to get, shrink it on Y and X so I'm going to press S and then shift Z so it excludes Z and then I do it like this but it's moving everything so sometimes what I'll do I'll just I'll press E first and then left click without moving anything I've made a suddenly made a second copy of it then when I press S shift Z then I slide it in and I essentially create a face like this now let's go zoom in now you can also press DEL on the numpad with just vertices selected and it'll just zoom into those vertices like that so I can see those so I'm gonna do I'm gonna continue moving on I'll press S shift Z again and move them a little bit closer and then that's close enough but I want to seal those off let's say so I can come over here to mesh the same as control V actually on here right here vertices and I want to merge so I'll merge them and it gives me options at the center at the cursor or collapse I'll use the center and then it just makes it all one so now I have a single vertex in there that I can move up and down like that alright so every little bit helps and um, yeah okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson